That's good. In that corner, can you hear me? Yeah, we're good? Over there, we're good? Chaim Allender, right. Chaim! Chaim! Hand of God, Chaim! Mr. Allender, where are you? Here you go, Mazel Tov. My opening statement is, I love Hasidim. Are we good with that? Yeah! I love Hasidim. Just uh, just want to remind you, in case you didn't know, I love Hasidim. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I just moved to Muncie, and I'm working on my Yiddish. By next year, I'll be able to break my teeth. And everyone that spoke before me was wonderful. I, uh, uh, Um, in my quest and my desire to become a chassid, I sincerely think that somebody should really publish a book that has pictures. Chassidim for dummies. Ich bin a dummy. And, I, and it's very hard for me to differentiate the socks, the hat, the shoes. Uh, you know, have something called the pepper and hoisin, right? <laughs> pepper and hoisin? Yeah, that's why you put pepper in the hoisin, no? Is that what it is? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm learning, I'm learning. If I make any mistake in Hasidus, please correct me. So I was doing my research because I love Hasidim. You know I love Hasidim. I was, I was doing my research and I really wanted to become a Hasid. But if you want to be a Hasid, then you gotta, you know, you gotta go for the top. I want, I want to become a river. Anybody think I got a shot? I got a shot? <laughs> so in Muncie we started a new Hasid is called Sakov. Sakov, I've been the Sakov forever. I don't want to discuss the 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 Hashem of Sakov. It's it's very complicated, and very deep. We're still writing the book, but we found this this Rosh Hashanah. We found a place in Ukraine, Uman, near Uman, 40 miles outside of Uman. It was a bus stop, and it said Sakov, and that's my town. Okay, in case anybody wants to know, that's that's my place. I'm a rebbe of a bus stop. Is that okay? So in my research of trying to become a, a, a Rebbe, I, I did my homework and I discovered the first Rebbe. I, who was the first Rebbe? Does anybody here know? The first, first Rebbe. Who? So in this week's parsha we can learn. Dem, dem Boch. Esau was given the Eshter Rebbe. No, no, I'll explain myself. He had a fur coat. 400 Hasidim, and he wanted to kill his brother. <laughs> now, I'm happy you're all happy. Actually, a Hasid told me the joke, and uh, he says, You don't know how true it is. But I'm working on it. I'm still learning because I love Hasidim and I want to become a Hasid one day. Unfortunately, my Ikhshtam uh, from a Svardisha background, can you tell? Can you tell? There's a place in North Africa called Morocco. I was born there. And, uh, and I, I married a girl that's, that's from a family that's Litvish. You know what Litvish is. You know, Hasidim have a lot of warmth, a lot of happiness, a lot of simcha. And Litvox, the more they cry, they feel better. You know, they... So when I was engaged and I was going to get married, I had to sit down with my shver, you know, the, the faher and the whole thing. And we were negotiating how many years, how many years I have to learn in Koyo. I said, whatever it takes, I want to marry your daughter. Whatever it is, you want me 100 years in Kyle? So we settled on the number. We 
settled on 15 years in Kyle. And every year on Rosh Hashanah we get together and we talk. After 10 years in Kyle, my shver was kind to me. He gave me five years off of good behavior. <laughs> Moving right along, for those of you that didn't want to get the joke, I hope you never get it. I would like to share, being that I'm a lover of Hasidim, and Hasidim loved David the Melech. David the Melech said, Hasidani. There's a pasuk, there's a parak in Tehillim. That says, Arba Tzrichim Lahoidos. There are four types of people that have to express Hoidah thanks to Hashem. Person that's in the hospital, told the Midgar of Shimon A person gets confused in the desert and he thinks his life is coming to an end. You're the Ayamba Aniyot. A person that goes into the ocean and the waves come and it's going to destroy him. And the person that goes to Autosville, the person that goes to Timrula Surim too. And the capital ends and says, Mi Chacham Yishmorele, who is a wise man? We want to know Chazde Hashem and he'll remember the kindness of Hashem. And to this, the Mefarshim asked the question. Do you need to be a wise man to remember the challenges that you had at the times that you were in jail, the times that you were in the hospital, when your life was on the line? Does it take a chokhom? It takes a tipesh not to remember. And to this, my dear friends, I want to share with you an insight to life. In this wonderful insight of life, Havana, Bishop Ashtain was getting the cup for Naid, was in jail. I don't want to say jail in English. Otisville. Whatever. I see it's Machlaiki like days, and how do you say jail in Yiddish when you figure it out? But in all seriousness, my dear friends, you know why you need wisdom? It's not to remember. It's because there's going to be a moment in time when we receive our salvation. And the concept of Shmira means to say, can we relive the sensation? Can we feel what we felt years later when we have success? Can we relive that feeling of what it was like to be tied up in jail? Can we live it? For that, you need to be a chacham. For that, I share with you all a reality. That when people are living in good times, they forget bad times. But there's one thing that they do remember. They remember the visits of the individuals that came and gave them a kind word. They don't remember washing the toilets. They remember the good things. And to all the volunteers that are here tonight, what I would like for you to take home, the chizik that I wish to, to share with you is, your actions will 
never be forgotten. The person that's in jail, when he'll look back on his life of his challenging moments, he's going to remember the volunteers that are here tonight. So my encouragement to all the volunteers are, you're touching someone's life forever. Don't slow down. Touch more lives. And Hashem should give you a bracha at the day. Amen. Amen.